So apparently now the question is, will you get an updated COVID booster? New poll shows how many U.S. adults want new jab. <clears throat> I'm Grid7, and let's just get into this little article here and see what it says. Millions of people in the U.S. have already gotten an updated COVID-19 booster shot after the new doses were made available about one month ago, the Centers for Disease and Control and Prevention reports. Now, a new poll highlights how many more people want to get a modified jab or are not planning on it after 7.6 million have rolled up their sleeves to do so, according to a CDC data. Two-thirds of adults in the U.S., 67%, are hesitant to get the new vaccine dose based on their answers recorded in a Kaiser Family Foundation poll published on September 30th. Meanwhile, roughly one-third of adults, 32%, say they've already received a new, the new booster or will do so as soon as possible, according to the survey. <clears throat> this really should raise some questions that there are questions about the vaccine. And the people pushing the vaccine, this is something I've been saying about pro-vaccine people for a while now, do a piss-poor job of defending vaccines. The, I'm sorry, if, if you are pro-vaccine, you do a piss-poor job of defending it. I mean, people come up, I, I've seen it you know, with all types of boosters now for like 10 years, I mean, all types of vaccines. People come up, they have a concern or something. And the defense back is, well, you're just uneducated and you don't want uh, uh, to be safe and all this. No, that's not a defense. You're basically telling the other person you're stupid. And no, it's like a little kid arguing. It's, it's not even a conspiracy. You know, most conspiracy theories, hell, even flat earth conspiracy theories, which are completely insane. The, you've got the flat earthers saying one thing with their, quote, facts and made up science. And then you've got the other people, they at least put out facts and science and all this. The pro vaccine people don't even do that. And yet, I am criticizing the vaccine people. You do a, you do a piss poor job of it. And now we're at this now. Of course, if we actually took a hard look at this vaccine, you know, the COVID vaccine, there may be some things we may not want to see. You know, the pro, us pro people, we, we, we may not want to see it. You know, we, 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 we may not be defending a good vaccine. In which case, why? But anyways, I diverse, I digress. Uh, the vaccine doses made by Pfizer and Moderna target two offshoot versions of the Omicron variant currently spreading, the BA4 and BA5 sub-variants. This Food and Drug Administration authorized new boosters for emergency use on August 31st. Of the 67% of adults hesitant on getting new boosters, 18% answered they will wait and see before getting an updated dose, 10% will do so only if required, 12% will not get updated, and 27% are not eligible because they are unvaccinated or partly vaccinated, according to the poll. About 5% of adults survey already received an updated COVID-19 booster shot, and 27% plan to as soon as possible, the poll found. Uh, the poll surveyed 1,534 adults between September 15th and 26th, with a margin sampling error of plus or minus three percentage points. The answer comes as the Omicron BA5 subvariant continues to dominate COVID-19 cases. According to CDC data estimates, BA5 made up 81.3% of cases for the week ending in October 1st. However, the Omicron BA4 subvariant has made up fewer cases in the past several weeks. Uh, CDC data showed BA4 made up 1.1% of the cases of the week ending October 1st. So that is 82.4. Let's see. Since updated boosters were authorized the FDA, new Omicron subvariants have gained prevalence in recent weeks in the U.S., according to the CDC. This includes BA4.6 and BF7. Okay, that's a new one, BF. 
Yeah, let's see. No, A and F are not even close on the keyboard, so I'm not thinking it's a typo. Uh, which are not targeted by the new shots. Of course they're not targeted. Th I think this, with a lot of people, is the biggest problem. The, the boosters and all that type of stuff are playing catch-up to everything. Mm. Uh, the CDC advises those eligible to stay up to date with their COVID-19 vaccines. Uh, the boosters will help restore protection that might have gone down since your last dose, the agency says. As of September 28th, the, average, the weekly average of COVID cases dropped by 13%, said the CDC. I will say one more thing about vaccines. I've, I've heard, read, you know, years before COVID even ever came out, uh, there were case studies talking about people who get the flu shot every year and how that could be affecting their uh, immune system. There was a, a serious look into it, and it's been completely dropped out now that you know, they're doing boosters and vaccine boosters and all this type of stuff every couple of months. So you know, if that was the case, are these people getting boosters all the time? You know, are, are you uh, hurting yourself in the long run? more than what you think I, I, this, this is stuff that needs to be answered but uh, now individual 12 and up are eligible to receive Pfizer's updated booster at least two months after their second vaccine dose or booster shot according to the CDC those 18 and older are eligible for modernism under the same conditions uh, the new shots were authorized as booster doses only and I have a problem with no why don't we just make it so that you can go in and get the booster and like the flu you don't need the original flu shot to get a, the flu shot for this year I think that that kind of hurts him a little bit anyone unvaccinated has to get the primary vaccine series before they can get a new booster for those currently infected with vet with COVID the CD says C says they can consider delaying any COVID vaccination, including uh, booster vaccination by three months from symptom onset or a positive test. Kind of like a booster, actually. No, only lasts, what, three, four months anyways, or what they say. Uh, the Kaiser Family Foundation poll found that half of U.S. adults have either heard a lot or some about the updated boosters. In contrast, half of adults surveyed uh, heard a little or nothing at all about the mod modified doses. Dr. William Gerber, Senior Vice President of Pfizer Vaccine Clinical Research and Development, previously told McCatchy News that the original COVID-19 vaccines, which are considered monovalent, still provide great protection against several diseases for a period of time. A severe disease, yeah. <laughs> However, protection was beginning to erode from mild illnesses. Illnesses that could still take people to the doctor and still keep them out of work and still create risk for spreading in the community. He said, in order to manage that, it's important to update the vaccine. They want their money. And I'll end it right here no, with saying, where are our treatments? Where are the treatments? I mean, okay, you, you think you come down with it? Wh wh where's the treatment in the grocery store? You know, in the flu and drug aisle. But once we get that, I think this will really just disappear. But uh, the, the, the media and so many others just are fighting that tooth and nail. And I think... Honestly, fighting that part, you know, if you're saying you're, if you're saying you're, you're, you're pro-vaccine because you want to keep people out of the hospital, like this, you no, know, right here, out of the doctor's offices and hospitals, then you should be for a treatment because that would also keep people out. But, eh. Anyway, let me know what you think, Grid Seven, YouTube. Come on over to Rumble, and I'll see you next video.